Hey guys, welcome back to your YouTube channel where we learn something new every day. Today's topic is going to be uh, using find functionality with the help of VBA code, right? Let's check it out. As you can see on my screen I have a small table of the names and the department and the serial numbers so this is the same table I used in most of my videos but in addition to that uh, you will notice I have uh, an, a defined name uh, data validation here right so this data validation is coming from here Right, and I'll just delete this for now because I'm going to show you how we can get this value. Right, so if we come back to our VBA editor, so the way you can open the VBA editor is Alt plus F11. And if you don't have any modules in your workbook, you can add a new module by clicking Insert and Module. It's not necessary. If you already have a module, you can write this code in any of the modules. Right, so I'll just close this for now because we don't need it. And I'll just zoom in on the code. So as you can see, I've already given the name as uh, use find functionality, right? So first, uh, in this case, uh, what I want to do, actually, I'll first show you. So what I want to do is uh, control F, basically what you do manually, right? Let's say you are doing control F, it asks you what you want to find, right? And after that, you have some other additional options like where you want to find within the sheet or within workbook or you want to search by rows or by columns or you want to look in only formulas or only values or comments or if you want to match the case or not or whether you want to match the entire cell or just the content of it, right? So these are some options which are, you know, available in the find option right so all these options are available okay so we will see how we can apply them with the help of VBA right so what I'm going to do is I'll assign a value to this so that when I change this value for example I change this to Andrew so I should get a developer name here which is the department right and similarly if I write Ryan, I should get an list here. Okay. So moving on to this, uh, my VB code. Um, so first you need to define uh, some variable. Let's say I'm writing DEPT, that's short form for department, right? Now my values where I want to find are in column B. So that's why I'll write range and I'll search for full column B, right? After that, you just have to write dot and then find, right? Once you write find and, and open a bracket, you will see it will ask you for all the required or optional arguments, right? So in this find function, you can see the only compulsory argument is what. So what you need to find is uh, compulsory to provide after that all other options which I showed you in Excel are optional so for example I'll search for range e3 because I want this macro to be dynamic based on the value in range e3 so this is how you have to write find range e3 dot value okay and you can just close the bracket right now in e3 sorry e4 what i want is in e4 the value of e4 should come from this variable that i've defined dept uh, dot offset i want uh, zero rows to be offset and one column dot value okay so basically uh, for e4 which is this cell right i want this value to come from 
wherever it find e3 value okay which is Brian in this case so it will offset one column and whatever value is there so for example find will come here and whatever value is here that value will come here okay so I have assigned this macro to this button so I'll just uh, run this right so as you can see Brian is coming as analyst right if I write some other name let's say John and apply the macro you can see it is def so this is the simplest version of find function as you already saw there are some optional arguments available like um, I'll show you the website where you can see all this and I'll also share the link with you guys right so you can study this and apply so for example uh, you can look at this now uh, what is mandatory right after after any cell so if there is any cell after which you want to start your search so let's say if you want to omit some first results and uh, so that also you can define right I'll just uh, set this up and if you see uh, look in so whether you want to look in formulas or comments or values so you can uh, give that option also right so if you want to look at something particular like whole or part as I explained you so you can use this also so all these codes are available on this uh, website of Microsoft I'll be sharing the link with you guys and I'll also show you for example one example how you can use this so for example if you only want to look in formulas so the code is already given here you just have to copy this and let's say if I only want to look in formulas right so that will come after so that's why I'm writing one more comma okay so I'm writing one more comma and uh, now I'm in looking so I'll write Excel formulas so this way this code will then only look at formulas and will escape the values right so this way you can assign other uh, optional arguments also like search order or match case and all others that's it for this video I hope uh, you liked my video and uh, this is going to be useful for you let me know in comments if uh, you feel I should cover any other topic for you guys and I'll be happy to do that and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already uh, and share it with your friends and colleagues so they can also learn this thank you very much and have a great day